particular addictions that keep coming up time and time again within these interviews are the addictions to idea sets. So these are things that come from, say, social media or from the government or from our culture in general. So uh, we become extremely addicted to these things. And um, I'm going to stop talking and let Aileen talk, but I just, I'm going to welcome you, Aileen, and just thanks, thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you, Neil. It's lovely to... Um to be talking to you again yes uh, it's been a while but it, we, 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 we did do a lot of uh, work together a few years back um, yeah the, the thing about addiction is that unless you recognize that you're actually um, indulging in addictive behavior whatever that is then you can't really make any changes I mean um, at the at the moment we're talking about being addicted to what the news tells us or uh, you know what the news on social media tells us um, and I think ev behind that impetus there's also an impetus that there's always an impetus of fear you know that uh, there's a great fear here and I don't know what to do oh well the news is going to tell me so I'm going to watch it because they'll tell me what to do it's that great unknown isn't it um, but then once you start to watch that and I don't know about in your country, but in, in my country, the um, the news is it's on every day at the same time. There's a bulletin about the current situation with updates from the government, etc., and medical experts. And it's very, very um, easy and quite an, um, attractive. Is the wrong word, but it it fills a need for a lot of people to get the. Um, the information that they want and the um, reassurance that they want that, you know, it's all going to be okay eventually. You know, I, I just need to keep doing what they're telling me. And, um, and, and that, can, that can sort of play out in lots of different ways. Um, drawing on my own experience in, in recovery from um, alcoholism, I would say that it's uh, the first step is to recognize it, that you've, you've got the problem that you've you've got an addiction um, and then my personal way of dealing with that is to go inside myself is to sit take even just take a few deep breaths connect with my um you know higher self my higher power whatever you want to call you know that intuitive sense that you have inside you that will always guide you and just sort of sit there for a bit um, and ask for help ask whichever um whatever you believe in ask it well it's uh, any addiction is um it's it's quite simple when it comes down to it i don't feel good so you know i need something to make me feel better whether that's you know a glass of wine a bottle of beer um or watching the television because i think they know what they're talking about um, it's that's how it starts and the immediate effect is a sort of um, feeling better an, an initial feeling better physically um, but then what happens over time as I'm sure everyone knows is that you need more of the addictive substance to achieve the same level of feeling okay 
uh, and quite where we step over the, that you know invisible line, nobody really knows.